Hello, I am Santana Gengia. My primary area of research is behavioral and social science research in the field of TB and HIV. I'm currently working at the Center for the AIDS Program of Research in South Africa, CAPRISA, which is based in Durban in KwaZulu-Natal. So I was first awarded the Travel Award in 2009 for the uh, pathogenesis and control of emerging infections and drug-resistant organisms. That symposia was held in Bangkok and Thailand. I was exposed to really um, experienced scientists and I learned a lot about how they develop their research ideas, how they present their work. But when you go out into the real world, into a real clinic, you find that these findings are, are not being translated into practice and that's mostly because our healthcare workers are completely inundated. In order for us to uh, reap the rewards of all that excellent research, we now need to focus our energies towards implementation science research, which is what I'm currently doing. I am working with healthcare workers in rural KwaZulu-Natal to mentor and train them on how to identify the gaps and weaknesses in their clinics. We help them strategize on how they can best uh, deliver high quality service so that we see all, this all these excellent research uh, ideas and the findings from TB and HIV research, uh, the people of South Africa will benefit from that. What is driving the HIV and TB epidemics is behavior. And we have a huge role to play in assisting the clinical trialists and the uh, basic scientists in getting their research out there into the real world so that uh, patients uh, will benefit from that work. The South African government and many lower income countries are really using all their resources to fight the TB and HIV epidemic. There are major challenges with the high patient burden. So research may not be the top priority and there's very little in-country funding uh, to support research. So foundations like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation are extremely important because they are uh, developing the research agenda for the future and they recognized public health challenges and they make funding available to address those public health challenges. In poor countries, uh, that means a lot, uh, gives opportunities, especially to young scientists uh, Without them, it's, it's very difficult to find the funding to attend these uh, conferences.